Hey everyone and welcome back to another video. My name is Geneva for those of you that are new here and today I'm gonna be sharing some of my fall favorites with you. You've probably seen these kinds of videos before where people will share what they've been enjoying recently whether it's an article of clothing, a new product, you know maybe a, a song or a book, whatever they've been enjoying recently. I know a lot of people share this on a monthly basis, some people share this on a biannual basis. I thought it would be fun if I did a quarterly favorites, one every season essentially. Um, so this is gonna be the fall favorites video where I am just talking through what I've been enjoying this fall. I'm gonna have five categories of things and this is gonna be consistent in every favorites video. The first category is gonna be content. This means anything that I consume, a show, a book, a song, a YouTuber that I'm enjoying, another Instagram account, anything that is inspiring me that I'm really, really enjoying uh, watching and viewing. Uh, the second category is going to be fashion. The third category is gonna be home, any and everything related to household items. The fourth category is beauty. And the last category is a miscellaneous catch-all in case there is something that I wanted to list that, you know, is just kind of an oddball and doesn't really fit in any of the other categories. So those are the five categories that I've kind of made to help get some structure to these favorites videos. Let's go ahead and get started with my fall favorites for 2020. So starting with the content category, there have been a couple of YouTubers that I have been really, really enjoying. I get asked this question every now and then, you know, who else do you watch on YouTube? One person that I cannot recommend enough is Lizzie Hadfield from Shot from the Street. She is somebody that I've been watching since the middle of quarantine. She's a London-based content creator. Her videos are a mix between weekly vlogs, kind of like what I've been doing, and also a lot of stuff videos. I really enjoy following along with her weekly vlogs. She just kind of takes you throughout her day as she's working, as she's going out and about, setting up her home, you know, just like everyday stuff. I don't know why that's been so comforting for me to watch during this time. It just helps knowing that while you're stuck at home doing things that feel monotonous, other people are doing the same thing and we're all kind of in the same boat. A second YouTube account that I have really enjoyed is Rachel Wins That's Chic. For some reasons she vlogs a lot of her daily things and I think that her cinematography is honestly so beautiful the way that she captures normal everyday life in just a very simple and beautiful way has always been something that's brought a lot of inspiration to me she is an Asian American and I think just as another Asian woman it's really empowering and inspiring to see other women who are like you kind of on that same platform so yeah also highly recommend Rachel's channel I will definitely link everything Thing that I'm saying down in the description box for you so you can check them out. Okay, also in the content category, I have a book that I just cannot recommend enough, Andre Asiman's Call Me By Your Name. Uh, you've probably seen this movie or at least have heard of it and know a little bit of what it's about. I saw the movie when it came out, I guess, what, in 2017? And I love the movie so much that I thought that I didn't need to read the book because there's no way it could be better and Lo and behold, I read it this year and it is so, so good. I think that it paints a fuller picture of the story that the movie tells you. If you don't know what the movie or the book is about, it's basically just a love story about a grad student that stays in Italy for a semester abroad. He's staying with his professor and forms a relationship with his professor's son. And it's kind of just this beautiful love story of the two of them as they get to know each other throughout the summer, set in this like beautiful Italian villa on the country, in the countryside. You're reading in first person from the perspective of Elio. You're just with him on so much more of the journey than what you get to see through the film. In the book, you really, you really are just thrown into Elio's head. It's just so beautifully written. Highly, highly, highly recommend it even if you've already seen the movie. The next category that we have is our fashion category. And the first thing that I wrote down for this category were my Majuri jewelry pieces. Uh, Majuri is a jewelry brand and they have been so kind enough to gift me some of their pieces. And I've really honestly been living in them day in and day out. It's been perfect because what I've been wearing every day have been really simple pieces, white and black t-shirts, crew neck sweatshirts. To be able to add a nice piece of jewelry onto that has 
made the outfit look a lot more put together. Really, I'm just wearing a white t-shirt, but when I get to layer a couple beautiful necklaces over it, it really, really ju does just make it look so much more elegant. Another fashion favorite have been my trusty dusty, really, truly dusty um, Veja sneakers. I have had these sneakers for about two years now. They have definitely been worn in. As you can tell, they've received a lot of wear and love, but they are still holding together strong. I felt like I needed to mention these because I have just been so impressed by how long they've lasted. I was originally drawn to their brand because they were very outspoken about their desire to be sustainable and to reduce as much waste in their manufacturing process as possible. They are a France-based company that sources a lot of their materials organically and um, through fair trade. These have obviously been worn a bunch, but I love that I could literally take a wet cloth and wipe them down. It would bring back a lot of the brightness in the whites. It is leather and so it's a lot easier to clean than say if you got a canvas sneaker. They have come out with a lot of really fun styles recently as well. Some chunkier sneakers, which I know is very popular right now. So yeah, if that's something that sounds up your alley. I would definitely recommend them because price point for what you get they're very reasonable. I think that I paid just a little bit over a hundred dollars which for leather shoes that makes a lot of sense to me and I was happy to be able to invest um, in that. Okay so moving into our home category the first favorite that I wanted to mention are these cute little reusable kitchen towels by a brand called Three Bluebirds. Mine does not look as cute as the ones that you would get if you were to buy them new because I've been using them but I love them because you essentially can use them as little washcloths. They kind of, if you can see, they kind of have this like scratchy texture. So it's perfect for washing dishes or, you know, cleaning off a countertop. They are completely reusable. You can wash them in the laundry up to a hundred times. We honestly use these every single day. I bought two of them. And so I kind of just cycle through them. I could see somebody buying a pack of five or a pack of 10 and just replacing their paper towels with these because th this basically does the exact same thing only better and it's reusable which is amazing because that means that you don't have to throw it away and it also means that you don't have to buy more when you're out. When it does come time for these to retire they are completely 100% biodegradable. I bought mine at a cute little shop here in Chicago but you can order them online and I actually do think that they're on Amazon. I think I paid six dollars for one of these. Okay the next favorite in the home category is our Berkey. This is definitely an investment I think that we paid probably close to $300, but honestly, it has been worth every penny, especially if you are somebody that drinks a lot of bottled water or if you're somebody that is constantly buying Brita filters. I just feel like over time, it does add up. It will pay for itself because they are practically indestructible. They are very, very low waste. You can read up all about their filters on their website, but they can even filter out viruses, which are like super, super, super tiny being in quarantine it kind of pushed us over the edge where we were like this just seems like something that's good to have so that way if there was ever a natural disaster we would never have to worry about not having enough clean water truly just a, a lifetime piece and you know, if you have the budget for it or if you are able to save up for it, I cannot recommend it enough. Okay, last but not least for the home category is this dish soap powder from Blue Land. Blue Land is a company that makes a lot of low waste cleaning products. We would go through dish soap bottles at least maybe once a month and then we'd have to toss it and I just hated how much plastic waste it created. We cook a ton and so we have a lot of dishes to wash. Sometimes those dishes are really greasy you're really oily. I do feel like this powdered dish soap is up for the task. It does a great job with grease. You literally just sprinkle a little bit of this on your sponge and you go about your day. Okay, moving on to the beauty category. The first favorite that I have for this category is Orosa 
nail polish. Um, this is a obviously a nail polish brand. It's a recent purchase. In fact, I think in one of my vlogs, you guys saw me do an unboxing where I was opening up my nail polishes for the first time. Since then, I have been wearing them pretty much nonstop. I think I made it up until like seven or eight days before it finally started to chip. I do feel like I'm pretty rough on my hands, like I'm not very careful with my nails or anything like that. And so I was truly, truly just so impressed at how long this nail polish lasted. I do have their base and top coat, which I'm sure makes a huge difference when you are talking about longevity of a polish. I have about four or five colors of theirs that I've been using since I got them and I have not, I've been so happy with it. So the next favorite of mine is this Han Skin Pore Cleansing Oil. This is something that I've been using every night. It's my first oil-based cleanser. This has basically replaced any kind of makeup remover that I I would use. It just does such a good job of taking off all of your makeup. I do two pumps of this, apply it directly to a dry face. You just kind of start to work away the makeup. When you do add water, it turns into this like milky, watery consistency and washes off really easily. So I use this first and then I do go in with a regular just face wash that's pretty gentle. So I just feel like I've been able to be a lot more gentle with my skin. I'm obviously reducing some waste because I don't have to use cotton pads. It's just made my skin feel really, really clean consistently. It's great in the winter time when your skin's already kind of starting to get dry. The extra gentleness of an oil-based cleanser has helped a lot. The last thing I wanted to mention for the beauty category is this CeraVe moisturizer. This is from the drugstore. I think it was $16 for this full 16 ounce tub. I do put this on my face. This is what I use as my moisturizer. It's really, really simple. It's really cheap and it really, really works so well. Like it does such a good job. I've had all sorts of different kinds of moisturizers that I've used in the past. Some of them are more expensive. Some of them are really thick and really heavy. And while I've enjoyed most of them, you cannot get more bang for your buck than with this moisturizer. Um, it's non-comedogenic, which means that it doesn't clog your pores. It just soaks into your skin a lot faster and a lot easier than some of the heavier moisturizers I've used in the past. I know a lot of dermatologists and doctors recommend this. I've always kind of like brushed it off because CeraVe is pretty cheap and you know, it's a drugstore brand, but I am really, really so happy with this moisturizer. I am gonna use it until I have none left. I've just been really impressed with it. So this is all I've been using on my face. All right, for the final category, the miscellaneous category, I just have one favorite in this category, and that's actually going to be an app that I've been using religiously. It's the Goodreads app. If you are somebody that reads a lot or is even somebody that is looking for motivation to read more, I highly recommend this app. It's free, but the reason why I love this app and I have been using it so much is because of the fact that when you're reading through a book, you can try track your progress. You know, you can pick the edition of the book that you're reading so it knows how many pages are in your book. So literally every time I'm done reading, I say I am on page 97 and it will calculate the percentage of how much you've read. I don't know why that is so motivating for me, but I truly think that because of that feature, I have read way more than I usually would because there's just something so satisfying about watching your percentage completed, watching that percentage like move up. Another great thing about this app is that it does keep track of all the books that you have read. You can look back at your history, you know, you can see what you read, you can see what you rated it. It's just truly been such a good and wholesome app. Go download it and I hope that you enjoy it as much as I do. <laughs> wow, that was a mouthful. I think I've been talking for about 30 minutes straight. I hope that was fun for you. I hope that was helpful and I don't know, maybe gave you some different ideas, piqued your curiosity with some of the things that I've been enjoying. Let me know what you guys think about this new series, what you'd like to see more of, if there's anything structurally that you'd kind of want to change. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you guys in the next one. Another fall favorite. She would be in every year's, in every season's fall favorite.